it's really funny how all of these random problems always skew in one direction. I'm not saying it's happening, but it's happening. Uh, voting machines are not registering votes when you touch screen touch them for certain candidates. Uh, and it's, it seems to be Republicans that they don't work for. Um, there are problems where you have machines put non-Republicans first and you have to hit more to go to the next one. Um, the Internet Archive was hacked. We don't really know anything about that. We don't know exactly what happened with that. But they were hacked right before the election. Uh, a whole bunch of Twitter archives for years just happens to be like, uh, I think, the past four or five years, minus the absolute most recent, completely vanished from Internet Archive. Internet Archive is down right before the election. Google Cache is down right before the election. There is some serious memory holding evidence going on. All of the mistakes, errors, and randomness, <clears throat> and when I say randomness, I mean a TV station accidentally showed final election results 100% reporting with Kamala Harris beating Donald Trump, and oh, it was an accident, it was just a test. These numbers were randomly generated. Why is it that all of the errors seem to favor Democrats, all of the randomly generated things seem to favor Democrats, all of the, oh, oopsie doodle, uh, voting machine not work, uh, that only seems to affect not Democrat areas. It's really funny how all of these random problems always skew in one direction. It's also funny how everything's getting memory hold. The major caches are down. So you need to archive things using archive.today and you should also save local copies of anything remotely important. Screenshots, um, probably more credible would be OBS screen captures, video of you scrolling in your browser. Um, it's a little harder to fabricate that. You could, but it's a lot harder than just grabbing it. Um, and evidentiary standards, you know, anybody can make a screenshot. Anybody can use Inspect Element in the browser to edit an article to say anything they want to say, take a screenshot and go, oh, look at this, it was deleted. That's why you can't find it. <clears throat> so if you actually, you know, reload the page and scroll, it takes a lot more work to do that. Would stand up a little better, but you've got to archive everything at this point because there are some serious weird shenanigans going on right now, right before the United States election. And I'm a little bit worried about it because all of this stuff is mounting to where it's it's not going to be pretty. I don't think it's going to be pretty regardless of which side you're on uh, or regardless of which side wins. Um, I do know that there is only one side that all of the mistakes seem to skew towards. And it's also the same side that for some reason, uh, whenever they don't get their way, sets fire to buildings, attacks federal courthouses and such. So... Um, yeah, uh, I got a bad feeling that despite all of the efforts, Trump will win and then people will go completely ballistic and um, bad things will happen. Anyway, um, I don't think that it's a good idea to memory hole anything, um, but somebody's trying. Somebody somewhere is trying. Also, uh, final closing note. It is not the president or the senators or any of those figureheads that actually runs things. It's people like uh, the people behind BlackRock that control the major money centers that do all of the major investing. Yeah, the big money holders, the people who actually have the power over that big money, those are the people that are really pulling the puppet strings. So, you know, stop trying to shoot Trump. <laughs> you know, st stop trying to execute figureheads, <laughs> all right? Uh, the only people that anybody should even be thinking about going after, investigating, you know, any of that, is the people that actually pull the strings, not the people that are at the end of the strings being puppets. Stop being stupid. Um, look into the big financial people. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Happy electing. <laughs> enjoy your, uh, <laughs> enjoy the show. Enjoy pretending like there's going to be any difference regardless of who it is is in power. We're still going to go into debt. Everybody's still screwed. So, uh, woohoo. Yay. I'm proud to be an American. I mean, I am, at least the idea of it, but um, America's screwed. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll figure it out eventually. We always do. That's the American spirit. Take care.